What's up, YouTube? Saboji here, and welcome back to another Rolling Stones reaction video. It's been a little bit of time since we last heard the Rolling Stones. I'm excited and happy to get back to them. Thanks to Dotton over on Patreon. Thank you for the support to this channel, this YouTube. Thank you so much for the request. So now, a rock or a rock in a hard place from an album called Steel Wheels. All right. That is a really cool album cover, huh? Wow, it, so it just reminds me of, a, there's like a chain link. It looks like a chain link. It could also look like wheels right here and um, like maybe um, right here as well. And also like a uh, infinity sign and a figure eight, super, super neat. Anyways, uh, kind of abstract. All right, so this album doesn't say which album it was from them, but it does say this was the final album of new material that the band recorded for Columbia and hailed as a major comeback upon its release. So this looks like it was a reversion to a more classic style of music and launching the band's biggest world tour and the last full length album to feature the longtime bassist Bill Wyman. Also, it looks here that this was a relative after a relative disappointment of the prior two albums, guys, and you can let me know down below if this is true. Steel Wheels was a hint reaching multi platinum status in the United States, top five in numerous markets around the world and spawning two hit singles mixed emotions which peaked number one in canada and number five in the united states and the song we're about to listen to rock in a hard place the band's last top 40 hit in the u.s critics were generally lukewarm towards the album this person saying it doesn't make for a great stones album but it's not bad and feels like a comeback how do you guys feel about it this album does it feel like a little bit better or a little bit worse than some of the great stuff that you like from them you let me know down below the publications right here seem to rate it generally looks above average or average depending on which one you're looking at here are we rocking a hard place the album version is over five minutes single version is over a little over four released as the second single and remains the band's most recent top 40 hit in the united states the most recent top 40 hit as of 2024 so this makes it this is a significant song in that in that right in itself peaking at number three on the hot 100 let's go ahead and take a listen to it here you go a little bit of success in europe not much really canada and uk though uh, some some success and over in australia but did reach number one on the mainstream rock chart so there you have that all right i am ready let's turn it up we are good to go let's take a listen <laughs> Very distinctive riff already. Let's go. Me in 
gets better. Bing, 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 bing. Really, really good, actually. Wow. I mean, that's exceptional. That one song on on that album, I feel like, could carry the entire album. Unless, like, the rest of the songs are complete letdowns. Maybe in which case, you know, I would perhaps call it a failure. <laughs> but if you're just getting good stuff, you know, average or even uh, slightly above average songs, this one song, I feel like, would push the album up or raise the album up in a sense because i think the song is that good it has a little bit of a blues feel to it it's definitely gritty definitely gritty the drums drive the rhythm and the entire song the the riff the very distinctive riff that's like the hook for me i feel like you know um i could probably repeat that and to like somebody that's like a classic rock fan or a rolling stones fan and they would know right away what i'm talking about but it's also a really catchy and good riff and also the chorus rock and hot days rock a very distinctive voice from mick as well with a powerful performance and tons of personality and emotion i just think the song has a lot going for it and it constantly evolves i feel like i've heard some brass in there as well it's just instantly memorable and fun and a complete rocker with a little bit of blues i love it let me know what you guys think about this one down below in the comment section really good suggestion from dot and thank you so much other than that make sure you guys subscribe before you go if you haven't yet and i'll catch you in the next one peace